In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Excel to calculate your mortgage. I've been through this. I've been through the stressful time of trying to figure out how much you can afford. And so <clears throat> Excel has a built-in function. And so in the first scenario we have here, so let's say you're looking at a property that is uh, $300,000 and the interest rate is 4%. Um, and so months that you're going to pay. So in Canada, the uh, average uh, mortgage is 25, uh, 25 years plus um, multiplied by 12 equals 300 months. And um, you're required normally to have at least 10% down. So you're going to take, um, so your down payment is going to be 10% of 300,000. And so it's going to be 30,000 and you're going to take that off um, your total. And so that you're actually mortgaging a rate of $270,000. And so let's use this handy function that they have in Excel. So let's go to the function, insert function button. And I'm going to type in PMT, PMT. And then I'm going to go go. And it brings up my PMT function. So there we go. Now all we need to do is fill in the blanks. So what you're going to do is, first of all, you need the rate. Now it's 4%, but it's 4% um, divided, that's 4% a year. So you need to divide that by, um, by 12. So let's click, first of all, let's make sure we're in the right cell. And we're going to click on this one and we're going to divide, which is a backslash and 12. And then we need the number of payments. Now the number of payments we calculated here was 300, which is 20, 25 times 12. So let's click in the next number of payments and let's click in 300. And then we are going to go present value, which is um, what the mortgage, the total mortgage is going to be. So make sure we're in that one and we're going to click this. And then type is type one. And so this is what your more your mortgage payments will always be negative. So the yeah, the brackets around it and the on and in red indicates a negative negative value here. So your mortgage payments for a three hundred thousand dollar property would be fourteen twenty. So the interest rates are currently going up. So let's change that to, um, let's say 6%. Ouch. And all of a sudden your payments have gone from 1400 to 1700. Okay. So let's go the other way. So let's say, um, you, you're currently spending uh, 2000 a month on rent and you want to take out um, a, a mortgage and same thing you would be um, uh, over 25 years at, at 12 at 12 months a year equals uh, equals the 300. Now the interest rates I've got here is I've already divided the interest rates so it's 0 0.05 which is 5% divided by 12 and you get this 0.004 all extended number. So let's figure out how much of a house you can buy for um, for your two thousand dollars a month. So let's click in our function button again, and we're going to go to present value PV, and we'll go OK. OK. So once again. Um, I'm going to select my rate. I've already calculated it to be um, divided by 12. And the number of payments is going to be uh, the 300 that we've calculated for 25 years times 12. And then we're going to uh, have to say that we want to pay $2,000 a month. And so here you go. It will be a negative gain because the value is what it's going to be. So with your $2,000 a month at 5% on a 25 year, you could, um, 
you could take get a mortgage or you could afford a mortgage for 342. But um, once again, let's change the rate. Let's change this from uh, 0 0.05 to let's say 0 0.08. So let's say the interest rates really went up. And so instead of 342, you're now looking at a $259,000 property. So that's how you can use the automatic functions in Excel to calculate your mortgage. Please subscribe.